Good morning. This is Sarah, and this is my first video on acrylic pouring. I've gotten a lot of questions on what I use, so I thought I would start there. I use Floetrol, and it works wonders. Um, I swear by this stuff. This is really good, even though it's uh, not a pouring medium. There's other ones out there, but this stuff um, works really well. Um, I do mix some paints in cups, um, either these or these. Um, but usually I save my cups for um, the flip cup method. Um, I bought some squeeze bottles and I like to um, measure out everything in my squeeze bottle and work it that way in the colors. Uh, it just my preference. I mean you could, I'll show you in a cup too on how you could measure it out but it's a little bit more difficult. Um, but if you buy these and I'll share the link with you on Amazon um, for uh, 8 ounces I do 2 parts Floetrol so 4 ounces 2 parts um, acrylic paint so up to six ounces and then I usually go about up to the eight ounces with water so another two ounces of water and that usually gives me the cons consistency that I need and so I'm going to show you right now on that and go from there so, fill it up to four ounces. And then next I do my paint. And I I've had a lot of questions on what kind of paints I use. Um, there's a few Amsterdam paints I've used. I've used uh, Apple Barrel or these kind of paints, um, whether they're Apple Barrel or um, Folk Art. Um, I also go to Ben Franklin's. I don't know. Um, if everybody has one of those but I buy you can also buy them on Amazon they're just a little bit more expensive but I buy cheap paint um, and this stuff I you know I was uh, an artist um, painting like yeah just regular paintings I guess you would call them um, before that and this stuff was really good acrylic paint so I started using these for my pouring and they work just as well um, they uh, they're not runny they're they're just in between they're not super thick and they're not runny so um, I really like this brand as well and they are pretty cheap um, Compared to this at Ben Franklin's was six ninety nine, and these are usually about three bucks or less, um, and you get just as much or roughly about the same amount. I don't know. Uh, I can't find how many ounces is on here. Oh, four point one ounces, and the cheap paints is four ounces. So, yeah. Um, this color is greenish blue. I decided I was going to do this one next.
perfect. Put this in my drawer of paints. And then fill it up to the 8 ounces. Perfect. Shake it really well, and then I'll show you what I use for silicone replacement that I also really love. Because this is a lot more paint you this coconut milk is really good it's anti breakage serum so a hair serum but um, it has uh, dimethicone in it I believe is what it's called I don't know um, yeah dimethicone and that stuff I think is what gives uh, some cells as well um, this stuff is amazing so but it's thick and you only need like one or two drops in um, a smaller portion but because I use a bottle I usually put three drops in there we go three drops and usually with um, silicone you don't need to shake it up too much or it gives you smaller cells but because the stuff's thicker you can shake it up or stir it a little bit better um, to get it in there alright so these are the colors that I have as of right now but I switch and move them around and play with my colors um, I do use a torch, which I will also link into the description. Um, I'll try to link as much as what I can find into the description to help everyone. Um, and that's about it for this video. And next I will be showing some... Um, there's one more thing I wanted to show. Um, what somebody, well, quite a few people have asked me what I use to um, not make a mess. And however, these don't work for bigger paintings. I have to get creative when it comes to that. But for 8x10s, 11x14s, and 12x12s, uh, or 10x10s, or, you know, things like that, um, those size of canvases, um, I use Dollar Tree cat litter bin. Um, and these work really well. I bought, like, 15 of them, so 15, 20 of them, so I... Uh, I could make multiple a day and see how easy it is to peel this stuff out of here. My husband usually does this part because he likes to. But, um, so invest in some of these at your Dollar Tree or Dollar Store um, and then I will link everything else into the description. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe 
and have a wonderful week.